Well, very excited to uh, to be here with Justin and and uh, you know when this whole process started, it was uh, it was important for us and and for me to find a, a defense coordinator would be a great fit for this university and and uh, and I think we did that and that's uh, I'm excited about that I know the other coaches are excited and uh, you know it was an interesting process obviously um, you know appreciated having the chance to, to work with Dave and um, but it wasn't one of those things where you're one you, you know it was going to be a matter of time uh, where I thought Dave would have a chance and, and, and might leave and so something that wasn't necessarily surprising to me uh, when it happened and, and you know after the season and and before the bowl out recruiting you have a little bit of time to kind of start thinking a little bit and then uh, certainly right after the bowl game and, and Dave told me um, reached out to a number of people and that I trust and, and I know that uh, had a vested interest in in our success at Wisconsin and, and people I knew personally and and um, just kind of kept more people I talked to in Justin's name um, surface and I'd known about Justin for for a number of years and I remembered him as a player and as, as playing against his brother as well and then uh, you know we actually played against when he was at Cal and and he was at Boise so so knew of him more than I, I did know him uh, and then I you know I had a chance to first visit with Justin and and was truly energized by that and, and then we had a, brought him out and, and had time to, to talk and, and spend time together and and just kept feeling like it was a really great fit and uh, was fortunate when it all came together and and uh, I really do I'm excited for our players uh, to be around Justin and uh, as well our, our coaches. I think he's going to bring a lot to us and, and add a lot of value to our staff. And uh, because of that, I'm appreciative and uh, and looking forward to, to working with him. Thanks, Coach. We'll uh, have some opening comments from Justin as well and then uh, take questions after that. Yeah. Um, first of all, I'm humbled and excited to be here. Uh, this was a as as Coach said, it was a, a little bit longer process for both of us, and I think the the key word that comes up is the fit. And uh, in uh, the past, I guess month or so, uh, you know, both of us had a chance to visit quite a bit, and we always had probably one degree of separation from a lot of people in football. And uh, I think the few people that I talked to and I trust. Uh, had the same things to say about coach, just in terms of the, the type of person he is, the type of coach he is, and then uh, knowing from an outsider's view, my perception of the program here and what it stands for, um, all those things were just really exciting to me. And uh, so again, um, I'm humbled and excited to be here. They've done a fantastic job, and uh, they got great coaches on the staff who I look forward to working with. And today was the first chance I had to meet uh, some of the players and kind of my my number one goal right now is I have uh, some uh, flashcards so I got names and places and numbers and I'm can learn those guys and get to know them because they're they are the the engine that makes it go and uh, so that's kind of priority number one and I'm just excited to get to work take questions uh, yeah. Hello. Justin, have you had a chance to, to watch much of Wisconsin's defense last year? And if so, how do you think yeah. uh, the defense next year might be different? Um, yeah, I actually watch a lot. So Dave Rand and I have a history back to when he was at Hawaii probably 10 years ago, and I was at Boise. So we had been kind of constant communication for a number of years regarding just football things. And uh, so I always had watched a lot of tape. We had shared ideas and things like that. And uh, there's a lot of similarities, some of the language. Um, you know, may differ a little bit, but uh, 
they played excellent defense. There's no doubt about it. The kids played uh, very fundamentally sound. They played hard. Uh, they're an aggressive team, and I think that's a, as a team as a whole that was pretty evident, offense and defense. And some of the things defensively, it's it's very very similar to kind of what my background has been. And um, we'll see. It's always going to be driven by the personnel, the people, and uh, so you you build it for those guys. And we'll see as we move along through our cut ups and tape here where that goes. Jeff, Justin, to your left over here. You, you had a ride from Boise to Tennessee to Washington with Sarkeesian into USC. I'm just yeah. curious if you can share what the last year or so has been like, um, because we got to know a little bit about USC prepping for the sure. bowl game, but just Steve having to step down and then, and then you losing your job with some other people. What's, what it's been like from then to get here to today? Well, um, I've been fortunate to work at some great places with some great people. So I think that's the first thing I always try to take away um, in our, you know, in this business of football, things happen. And uh, especially uh, when it, you know, things happen to different people at certain times of their lives. And it's, uh, I, these experiences uh, are all valuable. Some are more enjoyable than others. Um, so I think that's how I look at it. That's life in general. I mean, things don't always go exactly, how, rarely do they go exactly how you plan them to go. And so it's what you do when you have a little adversity here or there that really, uh, you know, makes you who you are. So that's kind of how I look at that. Tom. Justin, right here. Um, what do you think happened at USC? I mean, you had so much success stop after stop after stop, yeah. and all of a sudden it goes sideways at one yeah. school. What, what happened there? You know, I just, again, there's a lot of things that come up, um, and there's a lot of different variables in football, and the – Everybody is so so key, you know, every piece of the program and, um, you know, all of us, I know I do, as soon as something doesn't go well, whether it's after a play or after a practice or a game or a season, and you're, the first thing you do is you take some time to reflect on that and figure out what you could have done better, differently, uh, maybe from decisions not only maybe in the f scheme part of it, but just personnel-wise, whatever those things are. So I think that's the big thing is that you look back and say, okay, how could I have done this better? And I don't think that changes. Uh, I think some, obviously the results are what drives this world of college football, but as long as we're doing the best things we can to help the team win, then you can, you know, sleep good at night. So, uh, you know, I just, that's kind of how I look at that whole scenario. Jesse. Justin, you touched on this in your first answer, but um, how will you approach trying to mold this defense as your own given the success that Dave did have here? Are right. you concerned at all about trying to, to match everything that he accomplished while he was here? I think it's really, you know, our job as coaches is to prepare the guys on the team, team you have, as best you can to help them have success. And so that's really my only goal. And I'm just a piece of the puzzle. And so I think when you start uh, adding in these external things that you might lose track of what's really important, and that's just preparing the team as best you can. They've done an excellent job. There's great coaches on the staff. You know, again, I'm just a piece of it, and I'm looking forward to getting to work with those guys to help prepare the team we have in spring and, and through summer into fall. Jeff. Justin, over to your left again. What did you learn about yourself in this, in this last year going from USC to here and everything you faced? Could you what I learned about myself? Yeah, about yourself, it, mainly as a coach, but also as a person. Like you said, how how you handle things that don't go as yeah. as perhaps you had hoped. Well, like, like I said, you know, these are all valuable experiences. Some more enjoyable than others. And as long as you can take something and improve yourself as a person, as a coach, from from each of those experiences, then you know, uh, I think you can look at it and sleep good at night, you know? Again, would you do things differently from time to time? Probably, but I don't know who goes through life and doesn't think that. You'd probably be fooling yourself. So, um, again, I think it's a, extremely valuable, um, and I, I'm excited to go to work uh, with the people in this program and the players on this team as we move forward. General. For Paul and, <coughs> Paul and Justin, what do you see from this defense? What do you expect from this defense philosophically moving forward, and how did your ideas mesh as you, you, know, you got to know each other? And, mm -hmm. Expectations and all that stuff. Well, I think that uh, right away we we uh, found common ground on, on the fact that um, what drives it most is is personnel and also being sound. You know, I think we both believe and the fundamentals are key. 
and yet, you know, where where we're at right now, uh, you know, I believe in the in the three four has some. Um, it's kind of what we've recruited to, and, and the team has been made up in the past, and, and Justin's has a background in that, and yet, um, you know, a lot of the times this year, depending on what type of team we were playing, you know, we played with some, you know, four down. Heck, we had Vince put his hand down. You know, I, I think that, I think we both, and that's when we were talking about fit, we both felt good that we know, uh, we know that it's it's all about the players and the scheme, and certainly you need to have a foundation and a starting point. Um, but it's it's in uh, the tackling, it's in leveraging the ball, it's it's in um, playing sound coverage, it's being disciplined in the rush. You know that um, the essence of the game, you know, we saw eye to eye on and. Um, and that's the exact. You know what? It had there been no changes in the coaching staff, our team's going to change, and therefore, the look would change. And so I think uh, that's one of the one of the qualities I liked in in talking with Justin was that it truly was driven by people, and there's also confidence in the ability to adjust to people and and players and teams and whoever you're playing. So. Um, how's it going to look? We really don't know until, you know, what's how's T.J. Watt going to progress? What's Vince going to do differently? Where's Sojourn at? And and uh, who emerges at safety? You know, so I think that's the that's the fun part about our job, to be honest. Yeah, I, just to piggyback that, that was uh, again we spoke about that uh, when we first started talking and. Um, you have the kind of your foundational b beliefs and what makes the program go and what makes you a good defense and uh, we uh, we want to be a three four team but there's going to be times when we play four down fronts and it, it'll be again driven by the people it'll be driven by the teams we're playing and some of what they do and it will evolve um, from now until really through the season a lot of times so I think some of that's to be determined, but we have a starting point for sure. Right and back. Justin, straight back. Uh, obviously, coming from USC, did you watch any of the bowl game between the Badgers and, and the Trojans? And if so, what did you see? Uh, well, I, I well, actually was traveling during the to the during the bowl game, but I uh, have seen a lot of tape, and I've already watched uh, quite a bit here in the this since I got here Friday night, and uh, a lot of great things. I think things that jump off. The tape or how hard the guys play, uh, the effort, the toughness. Um, they are very uh, in tune with what's going on. You can tell they're a very smart football team, and uh, you know I think those things are all you know part of the culture here, and that's exciting to see. And then there's obviously some talented guys out there making plays, so uh, very impressive uh, to watch. And again, I've already watched some tape this weekend, and I was doing that until I came over here. <laughs> Jason. Paul, when, uh, when Dave told you he was uh, leaving, was, was Justin already near the top of your list in terms of replacements, or was it just after talking to people that you kind of thought that would be the direction you go? No, it was, uh, like I said, I had known about and respected Justin for a number of years, and so uh, he, was, he was a guy that I knew should something happen, would want to find out more about them. And, and, and a lot of it's, uh, you know, continuing to get to know. And, and I had a perception of them and known guys that had worked with them and, and I'd gone up against them. And so had an opinion but wanted to find out more. And it was absolutely one of those that that's – he was one where I was going to start with and see uh, – not just if there's an interest, but if it was the right fit. And, uh, and that's what was exciting as I went through the process. Is the more I talked to people, and specifically when I talked to Justin, it, I got more energy. You know, it was, you, you just, it felt like this, this could be a great fit. And that's, I think that's what, that's why I'm excited for him to be coaching our kids, because it's a, I really do think it's a great fit. 
for our staff, for our players, and, and for this program. Anything else? All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys.